Water's a powerful force surrounding the city. On the evening of October 29, 2012, the East River was up to here as the tide and storm came in. That's taller than some people walking by. It destroyed basements, equipment, and buildings. It lifted this iron-hulled sailing ship from the 1880s. The waiver tree is permanently docked at Pier 16, part of the South Street Seaport Museum. My background as a ship captain is very much in focusing on floating assets. Captain Jonathan Boulware is president and CEO of the South Street Seaport Museum. He was on the job 10 years ago this week, getting ready for rain, wind, and a storm surge. Our ships rose with the tide and went down with the tide. Our buildings, and indeed the broader seaport, um, as is well known, was hit very hard. In fact, in the lobby where I'm standing, right about where I am right now would be about probably this deep. The seaport has been transformed. Some buildings have been constructed in the past 10 years to look like the originals. New restaurants, stores, and businesses are moving in. You work around here, so it's pretty nice that, you know, we're, we're, there, there are like seats everywhere, the new restaurants. For me, at this time of year, I'm always thinking about what's the next name storm that's going to find its way here because it's not a question of if, it's a question of when. Telling the story of the neighborhood's past and present is the mission of the museum. This area has been an important part of the city since the 17th century, when it was busy with boats. Some buildings are the oldest in Lower Manhattan. We have a unique obligation to tell that story, to raise awareness that the watery city of New York, the archipelago city, is definitely threatened by the impacts of whether it's storm surge events like Sandy or even periodic flooding.